and gentlemen, welcome back to the original air purifier on Kickstarter. As you guys can see, it basically kind of looks like a fan with a touch screen inside of the middle, and it would basically suck in air and push out air that was purified. Now, people thought this was amazing. It had multi-layer quick insert filters built in, and you could control it directly from an app on your iPhone. How cool is that? However, they are now back with an even better piece of tech. As you guys can see, this is known as the Spremo Personal Air Monitor. You simply plug it into the bottom of your iPhone or iPad and then log into the application and just like that you should be able to monitor how fresh your air is so first of all they figured out a way to go and purify the air around you then of course you can actually track how the air is every single place you go so maybe your office air is a little unusual or maybe you work in a more dirty environment and you really want to check up on whether you should be using some type of I don't know mask to of course prevent yourself from breathing in toxins and then of course it could simply just tell you whether your home is safe for your family because you know we do like to use gases such as ammonia and of course other cleaning supplies every single thing that we push around the house and use for cleaning or maybe painting anything of that sorts could potentially be harmful to you your kids your pets and just like that you should be able to keep close tabs on how harmful it is so of course that's where the spremo comes in as you guys can see it's pretty small you simply plug it in to the bottom of your device and just like that you should have a pretty nice reading of a pretty enormous amount of information but we're gonna get to that in just a second but for now what smells can you technically calculate well as you guys can see it can see paint pollution or should I say it can smell paint pollution chemicals cleaners dirty clothes smog secondhand smoke perfume glue pet waste garbage and much much more now all these smells come together and form what is known as the air quality index this is a group of six colors and of course six different ranges of numbers that basically give you a rough understanding of how good your air is or how bad so of course we're going to start off with green which is known as good its numeric value goes from 0 to 50 and it basically means that the air quality is satisfactory then of course there is moderate this is 51 to 100 the air quality is acceptable however some pollutants are still in the air so you might want to watch out for those and then of course there's 100 to 150 the general public obviously won't really notice this however there are a group of people who are a little bit more sensitive to the air conditions that might be like oh there is something off about this air and of course they might have certain issues i'd say older people might have issues with this or of course babies then of course there is unhealthy levels this is 150 51 to 200. This is where everyone starts to experience health effects and the sensitive groups are experiencing even more than usual when it comes to health defects. Then of course there is very unhealthy. This is where it goes purple. This is 201 to 300. Health warnings and emergency conditions. This is where you should get out of that air ASAP. The entire population is most likely be affected of that current area. Finally there's hazardous. This is about as bad as it can get. This is 301 to 500. This is a health alert and everyone will start experiencing serious health effects and so if it ever gets to that level, well that should never happen in your house. But if there is and this does happen, I highly suggest you run. So with that said, the app of course will change colors from green to yellow to orange to red to purple to very red as the air gets worse and worse and of course as it gets better and better which it probably knowing that most of you guys are in the united states it should stay around green or yellow and you should be perfectly fine but if it does get to around red just know that there is an issue Alright, so as you guys can see, I brought up my iPad screen right here. It says air quality details within the application, and then it tells me my air quality index, which is around 0, but it was just at 10, and sometimes it jumps to 20 or 30. Then, of course, there's the temperature, which is at 79 degrees Fahrenheit. Finally, there's the humidity, 36%, exact location, last read time, and of course, the source, which is the Spremo pan. Finally, if I flip the iPad around... Now you can actually track how it's been jumping around. As you guys can see, once I placed it into landscape, I have a nice graph of how my air has been doing over time. So of course, sometimes it jumps around to 33, then sometimes it goes down all the way to four, to zero, to 11, 14. It's kind of all over the place, but you can get a nice understanding for the overall spot where your air is. And mine seems to like chilling around 45 to 50-ish. It's not terrible, but it could be better. You can also go ahead and zoom in on certain spots and exact time so of course if you are cleaning at a particular time or I don't know maybe you brought the iPhone into the garage for a little bit you can go ahead and check out how the air quality was doing at that particular second so that is pretty awesome 
Finally, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the current score, which is around 20. So my current AQI or air quality index is pretty good. The temperature is around 32 degrees Fahrenheit. And of course, it gives you a cool little map of the exact location as well. The front screen is fairly simple. So if you want to get a little bit more into things, you do have to go and jump into the hamburger menu. Bet you guys didn't know that's what it's called. And finally, you simply hit air quality details. You can also mess around with your device settings directly from there. But overall, the application is fairly simple. They are working on improving the UI is slightly so hopefully by the time their Kickstarter is fully going their application is fully supportive of iPad and of course um, overall looks and usability have been improved a lot more overall guys I hope you enjoyed this video if so leave a like and don't forget to subscribe special shout out to Spremo for sponsoring today's episode go ahead and check them out in the link below they have a pretty awesome product out there and of course their air purifier was pretty awesome so I assume this one will be as well at launch go ahead check out their Kickstarter campaign support them and of course if this is something you're gonna go ahead and use support them a little bit more and maybe you'll get your hands on one with that said thank you for watching this is going to be me logging off